Hello, my name is Stevie Salas, and I'm going to tell you why. No! My name is Stevie Salas, and I'll tell you why. Yo, man. What? I am Mr. Endo. And let me show you why. How you doing out there? This is Stevie Salas. I'm here in New York City. I'm attempting to do a guitar instructional video today. Um, you have to bear with me. I'm a little bit slow. It's early in the morning. I've just flown in from Los Angeles. The sunglasses. I'm not trying to be a rock star. I've just got bags under my eyes because I've been out with my uh, Japanese friends uh, getting crazy here. So what I'm going to try to do today is uh, do a video that shows different rhythm techniques. Um, anybody who knows my playing knows that I bass almost all my songwriting, all my, all my playing around rhythm, whether it's a straight rock and roll rhythm or a straight up funk rhythm. So today I'm gonna try to go through some different patterns of rhythm from funk to metal. And I'm gonna um, show you the different ways that I approach it sound wise, even uh, the way I've approached it on a few different songs from different records of mine. And also I'll be having an amazing rhythm section today. I'll be playing with TM Stevens on bass, who most of you probably know him. He's one of the best bass players in the world. He's played with everybody from Miles Davis, James Brown, to uh, The Pretenders, and Steve Vai. Um, also, a friend of mine, David Friendly, who's played on and off with me over the years, will be playing drums, who's a songwriting partner of mine and, uh, and a great drummer percussion player. We're going to be here uh, just trying to demonstrate a few things. And hopefully, uh, at the end of the hour, you'll uh, know a little bit more about how I play my rhythm and uh, how I approach the sound of the rhythm. And also, maybe uh, you won't be too bored. So yo, I'm here tonight to, uh, today to talk to you about um, rhythm technique, funk rock rhythm technique actually. Um, I, f 
I've never want, I've never made one of these videos before, and I always shied away from them because I've always figured since I've never taken a lesson, I really didn't have much to say. I watch these videos, and a lot of people talk about technical things. I don't really know the names of chords. I don't really know what notes I'm playing, but I'll try to show you a few ideas and and how I come up with hearing them. Um, I'm gonna try to show you a few ideas now. Like say I'll, I'll take a groove, and I'll try to show you like how to how I could play you know power chords over it, like uh, heavy metal sounding power chords, for instance, or some different really funk grooves, or some different kind of in between funky grooves. Um, since I I started my career playing uh, with George Clinton, really he was the first person I ever recorded with. Rhythm is something that I incorporate in all my songwriting and all my playing, whether it's a metal song or you know or something for say Sash Jordan or something for Rod Stewart or something for for anybody that I work with, you know, for T M Stevens even. Everything I do has got to sort of a, have a feel of rhythm to it. Um, some people could call it funky, some people just call it rhythm. I just call it music myself. It's just the way I play. So I'll try to demonstrate here then the bass line would be something like this, let's say uh <laughs> Then maybe I would take like a funk guitar part and I'll do like a. And then maybe I'll take like a little bit of a, a wah wah part, let's just say from my. You guys get a picture of my new chrome Jimmy, Jimmy Dunlap wah wah here you just sent me tonight? So, uh, something maybe like this. Maybe something like that. Maybe I'll get the fellas here together and we'll like, try a little bit of a demonstration. And, and during that, I'll also bust into some, uh, some power chords and try to make it sort of all feel heavy and then get funky at the same time. It's sort of a, see how that works. There I tried to show um, how the guitar can change the feel of the whole track. Even though the drums and the bass are primarily playing the, so the same thing all the way through, if I want to lighten up the... or if I want to play... if I want to play either part, it sort of changes the whole dynamic of the track. And I feel that... Uh, well, all parts are very rhythmic, even if they're just power chords, but they all sort of show you, you know, what you can do with a song with just different rhythm parts. I'm <laughs> 